Hi, welcome to the audio slide presentation of our recent paper published in Materials and Design in July 2017 and entitled Combinational Processing of 3D Printing and Electrospinning of Hierarchical Polylactic Acid Gelatin for 3D Scaffolds as a Biocomposite Mechanical and Biological Assessment I'm Saman Nahir from the University of Saskatchewan and for the next few minutes I would like to discuss our findings of this paper. In this paper, we tested the hypothesis of combining two techniques. These techniques are fuse deposition modeling, briefly FDM, and electrospinning to fabricate scaffolds with interconnected pores along with extracellular matrix mimetic structure. As it can be seen in this slide, we fabricated a 3D printed layer of polylactic acid and then electrospin fibers of gelatin forcrete were added. A scanning electron microscopy images confirmed the bioactivity of the scaffold. The importance of the fabrication of biocomposites has been highlighted in the literature. Hence, it was hypothesized that biocomposites can satisfy both of the mechanical as well as biological requirements of target tissue. Using FDM and electrospinning together, it was supposed that adding gelatin force with nanocomposite fibrous layers could improve the bioactivity and mechanical properties compared to pure polylactic acid scaffold. As it was mentioned, the aim of this study was to develop scaffolds of polylactic acid gelatin forcrete using FDM and electrospinning techniques. The issue associated with electrospinning is the lack of control over the fabrication of scaffolds with a regular structure and interconnected pores. On the other hand, FDM cannot support the creation of nanofibers resembling the extracellular matrix structure. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first study presenting a fabrication method based on electrospinning and FDM together, considering a combination of polylactic acid, gelatin, and forestry. To evaluate the developed scaffolds, a scanning electron microscopy, FTIR, and uniaxial compression tests were performed. Bioactivity of the scaffolds was evaluated by merging in the simulated body fluid and appetite formation on the surface of the scaffolds was investigated using SEM images. According to the experimental design, three groups of pure scaffolds with different printing parameters were printed and one of them was selected based on optimization. Nanofibers were added to the selected group and results showed a significant increase in the elastic modulus of this group rather than the pure scaffolds. Scanning electron microscopy images showed the formation of calcium phosphate-like precipitates on the surface of the scaffolds. The effect of nanocomposite fibrous layer on the improved bioactivity of the scaffold was confirmed using these SEM images. This study was focused on the development of novel scaffolds of polylactic acid microfibers combined with nanocomposite gelatin forced fibers layer. The emphasis was put on the formation of scaffolds with lower pore size in comparison with pure polylactic acid ones as the main novelty of this study. Results indicated that hierarchical scaffolds had 52% increase in the elastic modulus rather than the pure ones. Emerging the developed scaffolds in the simulated body fluid solution showed the significant formation of bone-like appetite on the surface of the scaffolds. Based on results, these scaffolds can be applied as a bioactive bone substitute in maxillofacial applications. In the future, other additive manufacturing techniques such as 3D bioplatin can be utilized to fabricate hybrid scaffolds. Thank you.